I know in this video you're not going to see me once again, but I wanted to talk about a subject that I felt was really important. The thing is that this is what you're seeing on the screen right now is the EXIST database. It's E-X-I-S-T. That's the EXIST database. And this EXIST database actually works with something called the Extensible Markup Language, otherwise known as XML. And the reason why you're seeing this is because um, XML is queried by the XQuery language. I am not going to go into an in-depth uh, discussion of the XQuery language, but trust me, this thing can actually do this. Now, in order to store X queries and XML documents into Exist, you either have to use this interface, there is another interface you can use, but I'm not going to go into it tonight, and there is yet a third interface that I will talk about, and that's called a WebDAV, W-E-B-D-A-V. This is something I am going to discuss because a lot of people are not talking about it and it's very frustrating to find the answer to how to create a web dev so you can actually use exist. Alright, to create this web dev, the first thing you're going to do, now keep in mind the instructions for web dev in Windows XP is contained in the exist website, but the instructions for Windows Vista is not. And I just happen to have a copy of Windows Vista Ultimate. So, watch carefully. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to click the Start button. And then you're going to click Computer. At this point, you're going to right click right here at Network Location. And you're going to add a network location. And a computer wizard will pop up and it says welcome to the add network location wizard this wizard helps you sign up for a service that offers online storage space you can use this space to store organize and share your documents and pictures using only a web browser and internet connection you can also use this wizard to create a shortcut to a website an FTP site or other network location when you click next you will click choose a custom network location. When you click next again, it will ask you for an internet address. And I'm now going to show you that internet address that you will need to connect this web dev to the exist database. And that's the web address you'll need. Now if you click next, a connection would be established to the exist database. We're not going to do that here because I'm not going to waste my time and besides I already have a couple of connections to that. Once a connection has been established what you'll do is you'll click on that connection like right here and usually I know in this case it didn't happen but usually a, a um, dialog box will pop up and ask for a username and password. In this case, my username was admin. I'm not going to tell you my password because if I did, people would be able to get into my computer and start using my exist program without my permission and I simply won't allow it. Okay, but once you have typed in your username and password, then you can actually store uh, XML files and xquery files into your exist database to run it. So that's how you create your web dev for the exist database. And I will talk more about this in a future video, so stay tuned.